Oh, yeah. That Viking game. What's the name of it? Cub or... Cubby or something? Wait a minute. I'm having deja vu here. Yeah, ah! yeah it's a called a cube. Who are you? Who, me? My name's Flirvin, son of Mirvin. Nice to meet you. Why are you here? I'm not really sure. I was out in the field tending the sheep. And then I saw this big blue and green light up in the sky. And then, poof, I ended up here in your house. What? Blue, green light? How? Uh-oh. I should have known. That thing's had a mind of its own since Endgame. Huh. You want to help me make the game? Maybe give me some pointers? Okie dokie. I can talk about it if you want to. You mean narrate? Okay, okay. I'm not really sure that that's the best. People might not understand. Okay, sure. Why not? By the way, do you have anything to... What's that? A drink? I'm a little bit thirsty. Sure. Yeah, give me a second. Yeah, here you go. Ah, oh, thank you. <sighs> Ooh, tasty. Yeah, it's a... Uh, Tastes uh, just like the mead we had back at the village. What you call it? A uh, Red Bull. Oh, Red Beer. Red, Red Bull. Oh, I love me some Red Beer. Oh, it's got a little bit of a kick to it, don't it? Well, let's go make the game. There, in the game of Coup, there are two teams. One on the one side, and one on the other side. Each team has five curves they have to set up and they have six sticks to throw at the other team's curves. There's a king in the meter, but you don't want to knock him over first or else you lose the game. Each team has to throw the sticks and knock over the curves. Once all the curves are down, then you throw the stick at the king. Once the king is down, then you win. If you knock over the king first, you're going to lose. I don't know about you, but I don't like to lose. Just ask my friend, Sturvin here. He used to beat me all the time. He doesn't beat me anymore. Anywho. Psst. Hey. No, don't don't look up here. Just act natural. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take over on narration. I I don't want Flervin to know about it because you know, I don't wanna make him feel bad or or mad, because you know, frankly he kinda scares the crap out of me. Anyway, He's a little bit hard to understand, so I thought maybe I would take over, you know, just just act natural, and um, I'll take it from here. Sorry for the interruption. So, yeah, Cub is a very basic, yet fun, backyard game. After playing it at a barbecue a few weeks ago, I decided I was going to make a couple sets. For both sets, I'm using nothing but scrap wood. For the short cubs themselves, I'm using 6x6s that I cut into 4s and then cut them down to size. The king is just a 4x4 post that I cut into two pieces. The batons are made from 2x6 scraps, 2x4 scraps, and a couple 2x10 scrap pieces. As you already saw, I cut each baton into an octagonal shape. I did this by cutting each piece into 1.5 inch square stock, and then tilting the blade on the table saw to a 45 degree angle, I ripped all four corners off of each piece. And you can see here, since the blade is still at 45 degrees, I'm going to chamfer all four corners on each king piece. I'll get more particular about the dimensions later on. Next up, using the router table, I'm coming in at 1 and 1 8 inch from each edge of those king pieces and cutting some cosmetic notches just to make them look a little nicer. To do that, I'm using this 90 degree V-shaped router bit. I completely extended the bit to add squared sides onto the angled notches. I didn't really need to do this part, but I thought I could make each king somewhat resemble a castle tower. Next, measuring down four inches from the top, I recessed the angle bit and cut notches on all four corners of the two king pieces. Looks a little more interesting than just a square block. Next up, it's my favorite thing in the world. Nope, not that. 
Yeah, that. A lot of that. It's okay though, I, I knew there was going to be a lot of sanding with this project, there always is. I'm very slowly getting used to that fact. Anyway, let's get back to talking about the dimensions of all those pieces. The King is, as I said, a 4x4 post and it's cut to 12 inches long. These batons are cut to 12 inches long as well. The batons are actually supposed to be made from 1.5 inch dowel rods, if you want to be technical about it. However, I decided early on that I wanted to make this project out of scrap wood, so that's why I cut them into the octagon shape that they are. For the cubs, each one is 2 and 3 quarter inch square by 6 inches long. These pieces were made from 6x6 post scraps from when I built my deck a few years ago. Those scraps were previously being used by my children in their playhouse to make an oven. So I'll have to find some alternative pieces for them to use. For the stakes, each game requires 6 stakes, 8 inches in length and roughly 3 quarter inch square. These were again made with scraps. In fact, the stakes were made from scraps left over from the planter boxes that I made. Come to think of it, six of the batons were made from those leftover scraps as well. What I'm doing here is using the router table to chamfer every corner on each of the cub blocks. Although this part was time consuming, I made it a lot easier on myself using the combination of this homemade router table and a chamfer bit which has a bearing installed. This really aids in ensuring that each chamfer cut is clean and consistent. I also went ahead and chamfered all of the squared ends of the batons and the stakes as well. You know, we should probably check in on Flirvin, see how he's doing. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was expecting. For the finish on this one set, I decided to use this paste finishing wax. The main reason for this is because I was taking this set to a picnic on the day that this was filmed. And of all of the assorted methods of finishing, this wax has the shortest dry time so it would be ready to use much sooner. For the other set, I decided to use teak oil, as you'll see here in a moment. Wow, Flirvin, you did a great job. Okey Thanks for taking care of that for me. Here's the finished pieces all together. Although this project is among the more basic ones that I've done, I'm very happy with the outcome. This was a simple, fun, and very inexpensive project to make. And maybe just from seeing how I did mine, I hope it helps if you decide to make a set of your own. Because even though the concept of this game is very simple, it is a heck of a lot of fun. Well, Flirvin, do you want to help me test it out? Okie dokie. Okay, let's do it. Irvin. I really hate to lose. You remember what happened last time I lost that much, don't you, Sturvin? Never mind. Never mind. You, you, you win. You win. Good job on that one. Oh, okay. Thank you. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe below. And be sure to share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey, Sturvin. Wait up a second. Yeah, let's see what we can do to get you. Sure, okay. Maybe I can take some of that red beer, huh?